How's it going, guys? It's afternoon. It's actually 2 o'clock. I never thought I'd be doing a uh, double upload day on YouTube. Never thought that would happen. Anyhow, let me show you what we got going on. So everything looks pretty dry. Remember, uh, we finished up this morning around 9 o'clock, and it's 2 o'clock now. So it's had 5 hours to dry, the can says. At 70 degrees, at five hours, um, you're able to handle it. But, I mean, it was 100 and some degrees in here for five hours. So, I'm assuming it's ready to be touched. I mean, you could touch it. And the cool thing about this is that, you know, if I want to do touch-ups, I can. I just got to bust out like a, a rag or a towel for masking and then just use a brush. So even if we do scrape some of the paint off on install, it's not a big deal. That's why I like the Rust-Oleum stuff is because once it starts to dry, it sticks like glue. And then if you ever need to uh, touch it up, it's easy to do with just a brush or a rag or whatever you have on hand. So some of the materials we'll be using today to do this install. I got two different kinds of hardware here. I was uh, undecided at the store, but I think what we're gonna end up going with is grade eight. Um, a setup like that. I think that's going to look the best. I tried looking at it with the grade 5 stuff and it just doesn't look, to me it doesn't look right. I don't know. Some guys might like that. But let's just go with the grade 8 stuff. It pops. We're going to use the tried and true Sigaflex 221 to seal up all those bolt holes we made behind the uh, exoskeleton. Got a uh, Rubbing alcohol here to wipe down the area before we install. A bunch of rags, some towels, and I need to climb up on the roof of Abel. And my lovely assistant will be out here in a moment to help us. So let's get started.
right guys that was a wet and interesting install there you go you can see I use a lot of Sikaflex so we'll have to wait till the Sikaflex dries and I can come out and peel off the excess that's sticking out there I wiped it off as best I could with a paper towel but when it's wet it's pointless but it does peel pretty nicely once it dries so we've got the ladders installed see if I can get you a shot up here from the trailer oh yeah buddy it turned out so good we didn't scratch very much of the paint but there is a couple spots that need a touch up so this project was awesome uh, this is the fourth and final day on it aside from doing touch-ups and whatnot but we're really excited that uh, this turned out the way it did that's gonna do it for this episode guys if you liked it give me a thumbs up share it on social media show it to your friends it's rare to see somebody building out one of these on uh, YouTube most people buy them and then the next thing you see is it built out so they paid somebody else to do it I'm doing it all by myself with the knowledge that I have so aside from that I will catch you guys next time take care bye bye